Hello, good afternoon. My name is Georgie Newbury and I am a flower farmer and florist based between fashionable Bruton and up and coming Wincanton in Somerset in southwest England. Uh, I thought you might like a little tour of some of the jobs I'm planning to get on with in the garden this weekend. Beautiful weather we've had, but plenty of rain. I'm quite happy with the weather, <laughs> dare I say it. Um, and we've got four good days rain coming up, according to the forecast. And I'm quite happy with that because we've had just the right amount of sun and rain after a really horrible spring. It's all okay at the moment. So I am planning a full on weekend of activities. And if you come along with me, I'll show you what I'm going to do. If you're enjoying these videos, do subscribe. Somewhere here is a subscribe button. So do subscribe and hit the bell icon, which is, I don't know, somewhere up here. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Benjamin Ranyard of Higgledy Garden this week on the telling phone, and we agreed that the people who uh, follow us don't mind the fact that we're so lo-fi. <laughs> I think it's a great description. So forgive the lo-fi-ness, uh, but do subscribe and do click the bell icon and you'll be told when we have new videos. Um, hopefully the usefulness of the videos will make up for the lack of snazzy, zingy, jangy, swizzy, swizzy stuff. Anyway, <laughs> on we go. So, it's midsummer. It's the 9th of July. It could be the 9th of January if you're in the southern hemisphere. And I'm being a bit opportunistic with the garden. We've got four days of rain forecast. I've got a space here. So I've given it a quick weed over and I'm just going to rake the surface to make a bit of a till. It's a nice bed, ready to go. And I've got the last few packets of sunflowers and zinnias and cosmos. And I'm just going to scatter them in here and we'll see, it's quite opportunistic stuff this, whether I get a little bit extra crop. But it seems silly to grow weeds when I could be growing flowers. So here we go, Chilton Seeds. It's a sunflower, just a mix of sunflowers. And these will flower for me quite late autumn, which is great because we get long, slow autumns here in Somerset. So just a little handful of seed, hardly anything, but waste not, what not. And I'm literally scattering them in. I'm not being careful. There we are. And I'm going to rake them in very gently. If I can see any, I'll cover them up. Just barely covering them and now I'm going to give them a nice water and there you go hopefully a nice little crop so I've sown the last of my sunflowers here and a little sprinkling of zinnias here if I have a lovely little extra crop towards the end of September from this that is time well spent and they'll go very well with the dahlias, which are just coming on behind me. Now, they often don't have time to do this on the telly box when you're watching gardening programmes, but it is very, very important that you water seed in, even though there's forecast rain. You must always water in. It's very important. Thanks. <laughs> On with the next job. <laughs> it's difficult to get it to focus. Do you remember the piece I did about um, ladybird larvae and green fly? A couple of videos back how to get green fly into your garden, ladybirds into your garden. Well, here now, the ladybird larvae have all made themselves 
little cocoons and soon they will be born, reborn, as ladybirds. So there's my newly sown patch and it's going to go with the dahlias and all these glads which are coming along a treat. Onwards and upwards. This is my beloved Border Terrier tea cake. Yes, tea cake. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm here is save this Olea grandiflora seed. Um, Olea is really expensive seed, so I'm going to collect some. There you are. And pop it in a paper bag, and I'll show you what I do with it next. So I've cut a few of those Olea grandiflora seed heads into a brown paper bag. And very important to write the date and what the variety is on the brown paper bag. And I'm going to hang it up because they're not quite ripe and they can just finish ripening in the bag. And I'm going to hang them somewhere cool, airy and out of direct sunlight. And I'll sow them at the end of the season, sort of September, October time, for flowering in the spring. Waste not, want not. There they are, hanging up along with some other bits and pieces I've got drying for Christmas and a giant <laughs> heart, which we made out of... Um, chicken wire years ago for a wedding, which I doubt we'll ever use again, but you never know. This is my weekend gardening barrow. Two watering cans, but one rose, because then I'll only have one rose to lose, and a useful, this is a great tool, um, especially if you're trying to get nasty weed roots out or do it, just run it through to make a line of something. Um, it's from a company called Illuminations and it's copper. So it should put off the slugs. Mm, don't know if that works. A nice sharp, a nice sharp trowel. I much prefer a sharp trowel <laughs> to a blunt one. Useful pair of gloves. Can't go anywhere without a pair of gloves. Never go anywhere without the Hacksnicks hoe. It hoes front and backwards, very useful. Just in case I need to dig something up, move it, <laughs> a border fork. And this is the most useful, ah, try not to break, break it. Little tiny, very rusty, extremely old rake. Just the ticket. I'm always doing little jobs. So I like a little, a little tool for a little job, just just the ticket for somebody who's I'm only five foot two I don't need something enormous I need to just get the job done and then other jobs I've got the rest of my biennials to prick out do have a look at my previous little clip to show you where I show you all about pricking out it's a technical term very important for the budding horticulturalist these honesty have been pricked out for a couple of weeks now and are just making their their true leaves are just coming along nicely and they will be flowering next spring. Oh, and looky here. <gasps> oh, forgotten about these. Little handful of Rebecca, which can be planted out now for flowering in the autumn. You see, there's always something. A couple of quite hefty weddings to cut for next week, but there seems to be plenty in the garden. So I think we'll be all right. We're forecast four good ra good rainy days and then a heat wave <laughs> but i won't mind the heat wave so much if i've had four good days of rain and it's very important when you are <laughs> potting on your seedlings to check that there are no slugs in the pots no you're not going to escape no you're going in the compost slug all these pricked out seedlings will really enjoy the rain outside. And look, <laughs> empty trays. Well, it's a temptation, isn't it? I'd better fill them up and sow some delphiniums for next year. Perfect time to sow perennials for the following summer. It's in the midsummer of the year before. So it's Saturday morning and I'm talking quietly because I don't want to wake the rest of my family. As usual, I'm gardening in my pyjamas, uh, which is a great way to keep you happy. Just a piece of advice there. Pyjama gardening is a thing. Um, 
and as forecast, it's pouring with rain. So I'm going to take all those seedlings, those Rebecca seedlings I looked at yesterday, and plant them out. I've potted on all the biennials, so I'm pleased with that. Get them out in the rain to have a nice, good raining on. And I have empty trays and an order of delphinium seeds coming from Plants of Distinction. So, happy days, busy weekend ahead. Hope you enjoy your weekend in the garden. If I were you, I would really make the most of this rain because apparently at the end of next week, there is a heat wave coming. So get anything you've got into the ground so that it gets good raining in now. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, if you do, please subscribe. Somewhere here is a subscription button. Press the bell icon and you'll be told when we have new videos. And if you want to support Oh, here I get all asky. But anyway, if you want to support the videos, I have a link in my bio now and you can buy me a coffee, <laughs> which is a new thing. I think it's such a good idea for people who enjoy free content and want to encourage the person who's making the free content to make more. So thanks very much and have a lovely weekend, everybody. I'll see you later.